Hello there my fellow Holotable heroes and welcome to another Galactic Challenge video. Hope you had a really nice week behind you and that you're looking forward to your weekend ahead. But first we do have to take care of a new Galactic Challenge. Now in this one we have to take down a squad of Old Republic. So we got Carfleet there so you know it's gonna be lots of assists and things like that. Uh, but we'll take care of them no problem wh whatsoever. So I have two battles here for you today because one of the army is undersized so there's no way to do like all the feats in a single battle. But as always I'll cover the modifiers and feats first but if you're not interested in details you just want to skip through the battles there'll be YouTube chapters below as usual. But otherwise let's just start first with the global modifier Righteous Retribution. Uh, so you do get some sort of stacking critical damage it seems for your team and then whenever a unit is debuffed they will be recovering 10% protection which actually will come very nicely uh, in play when we'll be using uh, Sith Empire because they're applying ferocity to themselves still at the same time be as well recovering some protection and on top of that whenever a unit is defeated another random ally takes a bonus turn. Uh, crew Conspiracy is the modifier uh, for Sith, it's not really all that useful to be honest, it doesn't really bring a whole lot of bonus here for us today. And then Sweeping Strikes, it's a little bit of an annoying one, uh, for the Old Republic they'll be getting uh, lots of tenacity, you can apply tenacity down to them as well. And on top of it all they'll be getting some bonus turn meter and most annoyingly all, whenever an Old uh, Republic ally uses a basic ability they will deal true damage to all enemies. Now luckily they don't have Kandras this time on their side because as we know Kandras just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going uh, but still you know Mission there and Zalbar with their combo of assist can get a little annoying and out of hand. So we'll have to find a way to control them. Now in terms of the feats you have to win with a full team of Sith units. Uh, the best team for this I found out was Darth Revan just because of that control. Uh, like I tried Pulp Lead, Trail Lead, it didn't work all that well uh, because one of the feats as you see is flawless so you're not allowed to lose a unit so the easiest way to do will be with Darth Revan because we've got lots of fear lots of control there and then obviously we have to win with an undersized squad again using Darth Revan just to remove uh, one of the allies out of the squad and that will be that but anyway let's just bring up my Sith Empire now so you can see what we're working with here um, there we go where are they Sith? So I'm gonna bring these guys. Now I'm not going to bring in uh, uh, their Sith Empire Trooper because he's taunting and if they go after him instead of Malak they could defeat him. Remember we are not supposed to lose any of our guys so then you can just slot in any Sith really you have that's not uh, taunting so then the Malak takes all the hits. In my case I do have Talon so I'll just bring her in. Uh, she's got nice little bit boost for your Sith allies as well so might as well use her here. Okay, so you can see they go first, they're very fast. I think my Dark Frame is about 326 or something, and we're getting plus 20 speed from Talon, so effectively he's like 346 or something, and they still uh, went first. So it looks like they're very fast. Uh, let's just go ahead, uh, let's see if we can get a shock on Zalbar. Of course not, that high tenacity coming into play now. Now let's get some fear going, spread more debuffs, and we'll just go after Carf because, you know, we'll apply anyway on him. Um, death mark whenever we do get somebody below 50% health. Let's unleash white lightning. There we go. Carf is down for the count. Uh, let's get mission out as well. There we go. One hit, two hit. Perfect. Uh, oh, that was a big hit there from T3. My Marauder nearly bit the dust. It looks like you do have to be careful there with T3. Keep an eye on him. Oh, nice big hit over there. Uh, let's get more debuffs out there. Of course, whenever we are applying debuffs, they're recovering protection. But so are we, because of all this ferocity. <laughs> Our guys are back to full protection already. Now we just have to deal with Zalbar. Now he's a little bit tanky, but we'll get through him. Remember, anytime he's hit, he's getting like stacking defense or something like that until he gets a turn. So definitely getting a lot of damage on him will be hard. But luckily we got Malak here with his drain that will do as well a lot of damage to him and this is pretty much it come on guy go down unfortunately shock while it does prevent uh, health recovery it will not prevent uh, protection recovery so we might just have to wait uh, for uh, Malak to get another drain or line to get rid of Zalbar there we go perfect just gonna do basics here 
Come on. There we go. Keep it going, guys. Come on, come on. Oh, that's a big boy there, isn't he? Okay. There we go. Just basics. I don't want to apply too many debuffs of him so he doesn't get back to full protection. Alright, he took a turn so we can do a little bit big damage. Hopefully that will finish him off. And down he goes finally. Uh, I guess maybe you could bring in uh, somebody like Nihilus maybe instead of Talon for the Annihilate on Zalbar. But anyway, Malak did the trick. So this completed now uh, the flawless feat as well as um, death as well defeating uh, with a full Sith uh, squad. Okay, so we do have now one more feat, uh, the undersized one. So what I'll do, I'll just bring exactly the same team, just take Talon out. Alright, here we go. Well, let's just get that fear going. More fear. I'm just keep going after Karth because we'll trigger death mark anyways when we get somebody below 50% health. That's it, keep going after Malak. Let's go ahead and dispel that. Ooh, got a stun, beautiful. Unleash the white lightning. Come on, get him down. There we go. Uh, let's go after Sorty next, maybe. She's got an Astieri as well, same as T3. So let's get her down. And um, here we go. We gotta go after T3, remember? His AoE as well can do a lot of damage. There we go. Get more fear. Get him down as well. And let's go after Mission now. And then we'll just have to get through Zalbar as we did before. Probably can just hit autoplay at this point. Uh, there's nothing. I think AI can really do wrong here. Uh, we'll just have to wait for Malak to keep draining Zalbar and then we should be good to go. Alright, cool. That was faster actually than with a full man, full five man team. And there you go guys. Very easy, very straightforward. Uh, Darth Revan handles this quite easily without any issues. For a quick and easy max reward. It seems like it's been a while since we had an easy straightforward challenge as this one. So hopefully enjoy this one guys so we can now start our relaxing weekend a bit early no need to waste like two hours hammering on some sort of rng fest as we had you know those ewoks and jawas last time but anyway guys thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one but until then have fun enjoy life and may the rng be with you my friends